How's it going, everybody? Um, so today I decided to pull out my Mac Triple Zero uh, sword brush, and I thought I'd make a quick video on how to mix your uh, paint for uh, sword uh, sword style pinstriping. So I have here lacquer thinner that I'm gonna wash uh, my brush out with. So I normally keep them oiled. Uh, so the paint doesn't dry up on the uh, hairs. Um, so I'm going to swish it around there. This thing's about halfway full. I don't know if you can see that. So I swish it around. Make sure I get all the way back into the bottom of the ferrule. All the way back to here. And now I'm going to dry it off with a shop towel. Trying to get as much of that uh, off. And then I'm going to do a secondary cleanse with mineral spirits. All right, so I'm just squishing that around. Wipe that off. And I might do that one more time. Now keep in mind, there is still going to be a little bit of mineral spirits on this brush here um, after you're done doing this unless you wait uh, 15 or 20 minutes and then it would be dried out by then but there's still a little bit of hair there on that brush sorry about the angle I know you can't see much here but all right so today uh, we're going to be using the mineral spirits more or less um, the lacquer thinner I only use to clean um, every now and then if I got some real 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 thick paint out I'll, I'll mix a little bit of lacquer thinner in there, but generally I don't use it So we're going to use one shot red um, Pretty straightforward color Some colors are uh, thinner than others and some are thicker. So uh, white is pretty thin uh, some people mix a little bit of black in there without uh, without telling anybody so that uh, it'll be a little bit less translucent. Uh, red is pretty much middle of the road. Black is probably your thickest color. That's kind of uh, a difficult one to work with. So what we're going to do is start uh, laying the brush and smoothing out some of this paint and making sure you flip it to get both sides, right? And you're kind of going to do a little snake move kind of there. Pushing down, making sure you get all the way to the very back of the uh, ferrule before uh, the spot where you put your fingers. So right at the very edge where you don't see any more hairs. So get a decent amount of paint on there. Now at the moment, this paint feels fairly dry. So it feels like I feel a lot of tug still on here. So if I go to pull a line, I know that it's only going to give me a very short line before it dries up on me, right? So what we have to do is reduce it a little bit with mineral spirits. Now, when I dip into this cup, I'm barely going to go into there, maybe, I don't know, not even a quarter of an inch. So that's how much uh, mineral spirits I'm going to get out of there. Barely any. So I don't know. I'm going to get close. So just a little dab, right? So I already feel a little bit of a difference. Now when you mix this paint up, you want to mix whatever it is you're palleting, like this whole section here from here to here. I want to go ahead and get all that good and mixed. Both sides. Understandably, if you're just starting out, no matter what you do, this is going to be awkward. I mean, just holding the brush is going to seem weird because you've never done it. So uh, mixing the paint, I just dabbed a little bit more in there to thin this out a little bit more. Uh, mixing the paint is going to seem really awkward. I mean, all of this is going to seem brand new to you. I mean, to figure this out, you know, a video is not going to be able to show you. A person isn't going to be able to show you. You just have to do it for a few months. I mean, a, a months, not weeks, not days. You have to do this for a few months before you kind of really get a feel for what it should be mixed at so i think i've dipped in there a few times now maybe four times and now it doesn't feel as as uh tight right the, when i pull this it's not as tight smoother now but i still feel some tug 
I've, I've, I think I've used the analogy as a semi-dry pickle on a window. So that's the type of tug you want. A pickle that's been sitting out for like five minutes, you throw it up against the window and it kind of got a little sticky, but not. Right? So that's what you want there. Creamy, but not watery. And you want it all mixed up good. Right? So, I feel like it feels good. It's smooth. Now, I keep doing it because it dries up. No matter what you do, it dries up. This, this is ongoing. You don't mix it once and it's mixed forever. You have to keep on mixing as you go. It's part of the process. Right? So, smooth, but still just a tiny bit tacky. Just a little teeny tiny bit tacky. Right? So, then, you should be able to pull a nice line. Right. So there you have it. Now, if I want to keep painting, I got to keep mixing. This does not end. And like I said, this will take you a few months. A few weeks, I guess, you know, at minimum. Some people get it down in a week. But even then, the temperatures change. Um, the paint's uh, viscosity changes. I think that's a word, viscosity. Uh, sometimes the quality of your mineral spirits uh, might be different from one day to the next. So it's really about how it feels. Um, there's no really kind of one way to tell you exactly how to do it. You just kind of got to feel it and it's going to be a, a smooth feeling, but just a little bit drag. Like if I wasn't holding it too good, this brush would kind of slip out of my hand, but just barely a, a slight tug on this. The idea is that the paint isn't so watery that it's just going to blotch when you put down the uh, the paintbrush, which it's all happened to all of us, right? You put down the damn paintbrush and it just waters out. That is way too thin. Um, if it's not thinned enough, you only get a, like an inch and then it runs out of paint, right? So you want it somewhere in between. The idea is that this surface down here is pulling the paint out of the brush. Um, and you have this paint mixed up so consistent that it will it will take it out of the brush at a very consistent uh, uh, amount to leave a line. So that's pretty much it, folks. Um, hopefully that helps. If you enjoy the content, please share the video. Please subscribe. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to practice working with a sword today. I don't do a lot of sword work, uh, but I need to get back on it. Um, I prefer using my scroll brushes, but uh, we need to stay challenged and we need to make sure we grow. So thank you very much and enjoy your day.